Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Enzania's Farming Tips with yours truly, Enzania. Here we're gonna we're gonna do beet farming today, or at least in this episode. Uh, if you look in the shop in the sewing machine section, you can come down and there is a where's it at? Is that it? That one? Oh. That one? Oh. Where's the thing? There it is. It doesn't look right there. Anyhow, you got this guy, the Amazon EDX 6000. Now what this does is the only thing it does is it grows maize and sugar beets. So corn, which is maize, and sugar beets. So you buy one of them. You have to get that. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But then you can go to beet harvesting, and you can choose either the Grimm BM300 and the Grimm Rooster uh, Rootster 604, or if you've got 479,990, just like with the potato farmer, uh, you can uh, buy the Grimm Maxtron 620, which will head them, or top them rather, and harvest them. Uh, the cheap, affordable method, of course, is to buy these two, these two devices uh, and then use them. This one is not as bad as the potato farming, so actually topping them yourself and buying the Rootster 604 is not, it's not a bad thing. It's not like you're going to agonize through it like you did with the potato farming. So here they are. I've laid them all out. Got the cedar, got the topper, and then got the harvester. So I'm going to hook up to the, uh, to the cedar, and we're going to pay, oops, we're going to pay this fella to, uh, to harvest for, you know, a rower, or, I mean, to plant, rather. <laughs> to plant a row so let's unload it another thing you got to notice and pay a lot of attention to with this or at least some attention if you look at the bottom right what does it look like i'm fitting a plant so you got to make sure you change that it changes from the maize or corn to the uh to the beets but i gotta find it where's it at it's like seed three all right there you go that's a symbol for the beets so i'm gonna hire this guy to make me a perfectly clean nice row that way you don't have to worry about it being all crooked and there you can see the marker doing its thing and uh, I'll be right back after we get two rows of it. Alright so here we go with one row at least and I wanted to emphasize a little bit on what we had talked about in the potato one. Notice how I said that you had to kind of figure it out per vehicle and, and, and each device. If we line up the left side of our wheels on this marker notice that we're going to miss uh, probably a quarter of a row or a little bit about, about an inch couple feet worth. So this is where you have to kind of get to know your tools a little bit and line up where necessary for that particular tractor and for that particular tool because the marks are different. See this one almost the center of the tractor lines it up right. All right I'll be right back. All right so we've heart or planted them and we've sprayed with fertilizer so I'm gonna time lapse and I'll be right back whenever they're ready to go. And welcome back. So, uh, yep, we've got our beets, their top, or the tops are up, ready to harvest, ready, or ready to top. And uh, we've attached the topper, and it's time to go. Let's turn the thing on. Actually, in this one, it's called a defoliator. Ooh, fancy. So, let's see if it can, I think in this one, you can just go as fast as you want to. Also, yeah, you can, because I'm screaming. Can't drive crap, but hey, get the job done. So I'm gonna top all these off, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so it appears I have a confession to make. In the potato video, I said that that little line marker wouldn't hurt your plants, your crops, um, as I'd never screwed up with it and I accidentally ran over my potatoes with it. I was, you know, assuming, and as it appears here, looking, I did a little mark in it in the end. Uh, after I laid all these down before I planted them, or while I was planting them, to see if it would. And yes, it will mess your plants up. So be careful with them line markers, guys. They will, uh... Now, I don't know if that's just a, a visual thing. There, there might still be, you know, beets there, but why risk it, right? So try not to run that marker over your, 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 your seeded potatoes or beets or anything if it has a marker. All right, uh, it's time to harvest. So I'm gonna pause this, connect the harvester, and be right back. All right, and we're back, ready to go. Uh, ready to harvest some beets. So let's uh, turn the harvester on. 
I've already unfolded it. It kicked it out to the side just like the potato harvester and just like the uh, corn chucker, chopper, or whatever that we bought earlier in one of our other videos. So uh, let's turn it on. And uh, let's very slowly drive around and pick up some beets. You can go at harvesting speed, of course, which is uh, button four. But uh, I'm just kind of taking a look. All right, we'll set it for that. Cause that way we can uh, really look at this thing. Check it out, man. This one's actually pretty cool. I like some of these devices. Uh, you see the the beets literally go up the little the little lift and then scoot out and down into a little pile for you. Some of these, this one and the potato harvester, are about the coolest ones, you know, in the game right now because they're the only ones that do something fancy like that, other than just spit stuff out. Anyhow, things you know, things are kind of cool. But if you look behind me, actually, I'm kicking off a little bit to the side, but it don't matter right now. I'm not really going to keep all this. But you can see the width is about six meters, like it says. Uh, so potato beet harvesting is is a lot more user friendly than uh than I mean uh, sugar beet harvesting rather. It's a lot more user friendly than potato harvesting. Potato harvesting just blows. So uh, this one at least isn't so bad. You get a bigger area, you know, and at least with the cheap stuff, you know, you can really... Now I'm trying to skip over that little bit of black. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so let's go run over that black and see if... Uh, see how many beats we get, if any, from it. Come on, speed up there. There we go. Alright, harvesting speed. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it's it ruins your it ruins it. So don't run your, your line marker over your crops, at least over what you've already seeded. Make sure you've got it pointed out the right side or the side that it needs to be pointed out of, right, left, whichever. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> everything seems to be going pretty good. So I'm gonna harvest up a handful of beets, which I've got. I'm about 78. Let's go ahead and fill it up. And then I'll show you the glitch with this vehicle. I'm not going to show you unloading in ve this vehicle because it unloads exactly like the potato harvester. It loads up exactly like the potato harvester. So if you need to know, go watch that video since I already included that extra three or four minutes in that. I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter. All right, so we're at full. Notice what happened when it filled up. It lifted up. Notice now I've got to hit key V to lower the harvester again. There is a glitch with this vehicle. They know it. It's been reported by multiple people that it will not unload while uh, while it's in the up, the raised position. So what you have to do is you have to then lower the harvester again and the first time and put your pipe out. Now, you only have to put the pipe out one time. Once you put the pipe out, you're good to go with the pipe. But if you switch to another vehicle and come back to this one, it raises again. See there? Let's lower it. We'll get a good look at it. See it's in the down position. Switch, come back. See there, it raised up again. So the trick to this, the beet harvester, is taking and making sure that after it hits 100% full or however full, whenever you want to uh, uh, you want to dump it, making sure that you lower it manually one time, even if you're harvesting. If you're in the middle of harvesting and whatnot, and you're doing your own thing and whatnot, and you, you realize, okay, well, I want to bring my, my trailer over here and pick it up. You have to pick it up and then lower it once if it's not full. If it is full, it's already picked up by itself. It, it shuts off the, the harvester and it raises up. So all you have to do at that point is there you go. It's up. You've stopped. You're at 100%. Lower it down. And then when it hits the ground change over to your other vehicle, whatever you're planning to use, to, uh, which I'll have to reset this vehicle back to base real quick, because I didn't prepare, which one is it, that one, continue, all right, so let's grab our green tractor, or I mean trailer, and we will, uh, <clears throat> we will run out here and, and show you. Now, I'm only going to unload a little bit so that I can show you the glitch also, show you what it does. That way, if it happens to you, you don't freak out. You realize, oh, okay, well, and Zania taught me how to do that, so I'm good to go. 
Now, if you just pull up underneath the uh, pipe, it'll start unloading. Everything's great. So I'm going to drive under it fast. Oh, there you go. You saw it unloading real quick, like just a little bit. I unloaded 331 taters. Or, I mean, sugar beets, sorry. I just did the potato harvesting video before this one, so if I swap them up, you all realize I'm doing sugar beets right now. All right, there it goes, and it lifted up. So it just filled up. It's at 100%, and it's up. So if I switch out to that other trailer now, and I run up underneath it, it shouldn't unload. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Most of the time it won't. I can't wait to be done with this cold. Yep. See there? Nothing. But, 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 if I now switch back to this vehicle, and this is the other way to unload, and lower the harvester by hitting the four, watch, it'll just start unloading. I don't have to do nothing. If I raise it up, it turns off. It stops. If I lower it down again, it starts unloading. But if I swap out of that vehicle, it stops. Okay, so let's lower it down and check. There it is. It's lowered down. And we'll swap to that. Watch it lift up, and it still unloads. So you got to get out of the vehicle before it gets raised all the way up, or you have to make sure that you lower the harvester if it's raised up before you swap out of that vehicle. And then swap over to your trailer tractor, and uh, then you can just pull up underneath it and pick them up. All right, that's the only glitch that I've really found with any of the harvesters. Uh, so, you know, now you know, and if you run into that situation, you know what to do. I'm harvesting sugar beets. All right, it's at 100%. It turned off and it raised up. Let's lower it down, then switch to my tractor that I'm pulling my trailer with, and I can pull right under the pipe, fill it up, and move on about my business. Everything's groovy. All right, that's all that there is pertaining to sugar beets. Once you've done that, there's nothing else to learn except for the uh, automated ones, which I'm not going to show you because they just do everything that we just did, but all in one step. So uh, hope you learned something. Have a great day.